over here, and well, as you can tell, the camera is brushed back this time. So, anyways, as you can probably tell by this fingers on my desk, well, I am. So, I guess welcome back to the last review. Okay, not potentially the last review of this. But, yeah, it's the next review for my Godzilla Bond 2019. And what you guys are thinking, it's not 2019 anymore. But this is still growing to the playoffs, I don't give a crap. So this is my full spoiler review, I won't make it long because... I have to have those shoes again. But yeah, the camera is pushed back, and these are all the figures I have right now. And then, yes, I do have a couple of shirts, but I can't show them because I have no things in there right now. But, I uh, hope you guys can see all of these. This will be not full spoiler review. So, so, right here. so anyway, so Godzilla vs. Kong. This movie was amazing. It's not the best in my opinion, but I, I love King of the Monsters still. You guys can hate me on that, I don't care. But this has to be the best movie in the entire Monsterverse. Besides King of the Monsters, and I don't care what you guys think. So anyways, Godzilla vs. Kong. The movie starts out with Khan in a on Skull Island, which is particularly potentially not Skull Island. It's a, bit, a, bit, it's a fake Skull Island, kind of like people were saying. People were making theories about a fake Godzilla. That would be pretty cool, though. I wish you guys seen that, but oh well. It is what it is. So, anyways. Khan, Khan has grown since the last movie, since we last saw him, which was Khan's Skull Island. And he had a bit that one too. So anyways, I'm gonna have to skip some blocks. I'm gonna skip some skip more of the story, I love it. That's all way of me and he is mad this time. He attacks a facility called Apex. Apex set, Apex Cybernetics, I think that's what it was called. And he just decimates the entire thing. I think he does. So, in Madison, who is played by Mary Bart Brown, who is, has returned for this movie. And I loved her acting. Did, she did a great job, like I said, my not spoiler review. Why does it look like this for your spikes? No, no, let's fix this. Let's fix this. Let's fix this. Oh, yeah, that's not So, we, she knew that she probably knows that Godzilla was provoked by something that we think that she said that they don't see why he's provoked. That's all we'll be. So, we have a new one. We'll be on the screen somewhere here. Mechagodzilla. Apparently it was Mechagodzilla that was he was invoked by. Apparently Ghidorah is the presence in this movie. He is potentially dead, but the skull is what's provoking him in Hong Kong. And there's actually this is more of a King, King, uh, Kong movie than a Godzilla movie, but it's a Godzilla movie. I don't care what you guys think. <coughs> so Kong to the whole earth. I'm skipping some part. I'm skipping some part of the story, so sorry about that. Other people can do this better. I don't know. So they figure out that Khan cannot stay in the what he was, what he is, in the in the containment, so they have to move him by a boat. I think it by a carrier or whatever it is. Transport ship. Transport ship. Looks like a player. Player. And I, every time I see the scene with Khan on the crater, I'm probably afraid I don't care. I always think that the fight will start like right there. And the first fight between Godzilla and Khan was my favorite, my all-time favorite battle. I said the whole Khan battle. I love how Godzilla just got onto the boat, onto the aircraft carrier. I'm surprised the aircraft carrier can hold those two up. 
this this movie takes well obviously this movie takes place five years after Godzilla King Monsters so be mindful of that. So Anyways, Kong gets hit in Antarctica, and he didn't want to go down to the hollow earth uh, just yet. He didn't want to go to the hollow earth at first, but when Gia is also the last of the Eevee tribe, I think I said that right, because her family was wiped out by a storm that took out all of the native Eevee people from Skull Island. The storm that took off, was that the storm when they approached Skull Island in Kong Island? Was that the storm that took over? Or was it Ghidorah's storm when he, when Ghidorah was out for us? I think it might have been the storm that was in front of Skull Island when the people were going through it in Kong Island. I think that could be the storm, but I don't know if you guys correct me, can't correct me on that. Khan goes to the Hollow Earth, beautiful scenes, more bats are disgusting, and I do not want to mess with those guys. Then Khan just rips one's head, uh, rips one of the cards. That's skull card. That skull card did not last long, that Mecha Godzilla defeated. He just sort of And Khan rips off the more bats head and eats the guts out of its head. When I, when I watched it on the HBO Max, <clears throat> I was like, "Yeah, that's disgusting." He ate, he, he also ate fish on the way there. He ate fish on the transportation trip. So. Yep, and they demonstrate Mechagodzilla. At first, I did not like this Mechagodzilla design, but as as the movie went on, we saw more of him. I saw the like. Khan, and y yes, Khan does find the battle axe, which is made of Godzilla's ancestor's spikes. At least I think it is. There's a fly in here. Then we, then Godzilla goes to Hong Kong. He figures out that Mecha Godzilla's there. Actually, he blows a hole. He uses his atomic breath down the center of the Earth into the hollow Earth. I, was, I thought that's, that was incredible. His atomic breath has changed since 2014. Then, then to King Monsters, then to this movie. And then they have Godzilla and Kong have the second fight. Khan wins it. Khan wins this round. Godzilla gets the upper hand. Godzilla just beats the crap out of Khan. Just dislocated his arm. I love that part. Then they swim. Godzilla steps on Khan. And they roar at each other. Bumps at each other. I wonder what Godzilla was saying. And he does, and Godzilla doesn't really kill Khan after that. I mean, he kind of does. He just makes his heart stop moving. I think I don't know. Then, oh yeah, the, there's actually the theorist, the podcast guy, the podcast guy. It was actually really funny. I do, I really enjoy, I like them. Harry Bob Brown is my favorite actor. Don't ask me why. I don't, don't ask me why. And Kyle Chandler's back. We didn't see much of him. We only saw him when after the destruction in Pensacola, 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 Florida, can't sleep, right? And we see him again after Godzilla was heading to Hong Kong. Was he at cross the Castle Bravo in that in that scene? After Godzilla after Godzilla's scene he heads to Hong Kong. Is that at Castle Bravo? 
him in my mind, and we see him again in Hong Kong when Godzilla gets there. And we kind of see him again. So, yes, Mecha Godzilla comes out, beats the crap out of Godzilla, and they. And Team Kong, I was gonna say Team Kong. The Team Kong characters revive Kong. GS has got that Godzilla is not the enemy. Mecha Godzilla is the enemy. And these two work together. They, these two work together to take down Mecha Godzilla. Khan uses the axe against Mecha Godzilla. Godzilla charges the axe up. And Khan destroys Mecha Godzilla. Oh yeah. Godzilla shoots his atomic breath at the axe to power it up. Then again, like I said before, Khan just decimates. Mecha Godzilla with his axe. Wraps off his head, and when Kong was cutting off his tail, both of, both of Mecha Godzilla's arms, when you see that liquid stuff, that's actually a hydraulic fluid. I don't know if people knew that, but my dad obviously knew it was a hydraulic fluid because the tractor I drive uses that kind of stuff to put the bucket up. So thank you, Dad, for mentioning that. So that was actually her job fluid, not blood. I think some of you guys, I think most of you guys knew that, but for people who did, that was her job fluid in Mecha Godzilla. Then Khan gets tired. In a few human scenes, Godzilla comes to Khan, comes toward Khan a little bit, and it looks like they were about to fight again, but it was actually when Godzilla saw the axe in toward the toward the end of the movie. Was he actually sad about when he saw the axe? Because it reminded him of his ancestors. Could have been. And then Khan drops the axe. Then that's what then they in the end they respect each other. They both went both different ways. And then they start fighting. I kinda knew that Mecha Godzilla was gonna be in this movie because of the leaks we saw of these figures. Last year, I think? Because of I obviously knew he was going to be in it, so... Then, after the fight, after the done fighting, Godzilla just goes back into the ocean, and Khan is in the Hollow Earth, Then the movie just ends right there. The movie just ends with the end credit scenes, and yeah. So... Oh, that was a lot! That was a mouthful to talk. That was a mouthful, but anyways... Hope you guys... I really hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, ah! Can't speak, sorry. So... Yeah, that's all I have to say about this movie. Nothing wrong with it. I have no problem with the characters. They are all great. They did their parts. And yeah. So... I give this movie an A+. I still like King of the Monsters. King of the Monsters is still my all-time favorite. Watch the first Godzilla film. In this movie, is just my second film, so. so. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. Oh, because I don't really feel like a tripod camera. Oh, well. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!